What's going on? I'm Larry Uber Jr. and I'm rocking with Street Certified News. Yo, it's your boy L. Hit him, Mr. All Yeah. Y'all already know what it is, man. I'm rocking with Street Certified News. We got behind the scenes, man. We're gonna tie this bitch up. What up, this is your boy Bum J. We rocking with Street Certified News. Peace out, great. Yo, yo, yo. It's your boy Mixo Guapo, man. Street Certified News. We back with another one. Recently, man, there's been a lot of things going on in the game from, you know, people arguing to, you know, people getting exposed. And, you know, we, we believe, you know, you guys know where a lot of that information has been coming from. Um, Man, shout out the boy Young Thug, man. Free Young Thug. Um, If you haven't already seen it, man, go check out uh, our news report on the dude Rich Homie Quan, who's recently been subpoenaed. Um, I know a lot of people said, you know, just because he's been subpoenaed and he's on the witness list that, you know, that necessarily doesn't mean that he's going to testify and all of that. But like I said, we broke it down in our news report why um, we believe that, you know, rich homie Quan will most likely testify and he may have some damning things to say about the boy Young Thug, man. So this week's story is really, man, something I've been working on. Um, this guy's been going viral for, you know, years. He was one of the first Chicago rappers to go viral. That kind of started this path that he, he's he been on really ever since. We appreciate you guys for rocking with us, man. And for some reason, when we ask, you know, for a certain amount of likes, man, it helps the video go crazy. It puts the video in the algorithm. So for this video, man, I think, you know what I'm saying? Let's do something like 500 likes. I, I feel like, you know what I'm saying? We did our due diligence on this dude, Yella. And man, we really gonna break down some of the real things that happen to where, you know, the game start leaning this way towards him. And even to this day, you know what I'm saying? He calls himself the most hated. So, hey man, this week's story, why everybody hate King Yella, man. Let's get right into it. Simone Lewis, AKA King Yella, was born February 25th, 1990 in Chicago, Illinois. Originally from the Inglewood neighborhood, Located in Chicago's South Side, King Yellow would initially rise to fame after appearing on a number of hood DVDs and major national documentaries on gang life in Chicago. Using this new clout, in 2010, King Yellow would release his first single as a rapper, Swag Check, featuring his neighborhood friend Jeffrey Salmon, aka Skis. Yella and Skis during 2010 would collaborate on a number of songs. However, in early 2011, just as their music was starting to be noticed, Jeffrey Salmon, aka Skis, would be shot and killed. After the death of his friend, King Yella, along with members of his gang, would rename the block of 73rd and Ada Skis World in his honor. Following the death of Skis, however, Yella would begin to get his first real hate when members from Ski's World noticed Yella collaborating with other rising artists from around the city, like Lil Jojo, Lil J, Billionaire Black, and FBG Duck, instead of the more unknown rappers still trying to get on from his hood. Just like when he first got noticed in 2008 from those hood DVDs, from 2012 to 2015, King Yella would pop up in numerous early drill music videos and vlogs, causing some to accuse King Yella of hood hopping and linking up with certain people strictly for the clout. In 2015, King Yella would gain national attention once again when he was featured on the YouTube channel Vlad TV. In the interview, King Yella and his trademark face tats would give off the impression that he was a spokesman for the streets, causing some to feel that King Yellow was the wrong person to be speaking on such a big platform about what goes on in Chicago. In 2016, in response to the backlash, King Yellow would record a song asking for peace, becoming the first drill rapper to push the now popular peace movement. Sadly, during the video shoot aimed at saving black lives, two vehicles would pull up to the group and open fire, striking the rapper twice and effectively ending the peace movement before it ever started. Soon after the shooting, King Yellow would relocate permanently 
to Las Vegas, Nevada. In 2017, soon after King Yellow would relocate to Las Vegas, man, I happened to be in the city, man, uh, just on vacation. You know what I'm saying? I was chilling, having a good time, had people with me. And um, I ran into King Yellow on the strip. Uh, for those people who never been to the strip, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people on the strip, you know, it might be dudes that's like dancing or it might be girls and different. It's just different people on the strip. And a lot of times, you know what I'm saying? They, they maybe yeah, charge you for a picture or different things. Like they really on that bitch hustling. And it was funny because I remember distinctly seeing this dude, Ken Yellow, you know what I'm saying? I chopped it up with him. I, had, I think I've seen him in the city maybe one or two times before that. But I had chopped it up with him. Um, at the time I was working for a hip hop magazine. Um, took some pictures, gave him a magazine, you know what I'm saying, and kept it moving. But it was crazy because they're doing the research and really remembering back to, you know, when that piece video shoot got shot up, man, bro went to Vegas and really never came back to Chicago after that. I mean, he had his little people with him there, thing, you know what I'm saying? He was up there, I ain't gonna lie, bro, he was up there doing his thing. You know what I'm saying? So shout out King Yellow, you know what I'm saying, when I bumped into him back then, man. In 2018, King Yellow will release lost footage of him and Cardi B in a studio session with a message to Cardi B's then boyfriend Offset that he had hit it first. This would be the second time King Yellow received major backlash after Offset, Cardi, and a number of fans called out Yellow for what was believed to be Cap. And for a period of time after, Migos member Offset and King Yella would be engaged in an online beef. In the same year, King Yella and fellow Chicago rapper Billionaire Black would get their chance to gain all the clout they wanted when they caught 600 members 600 Breezy lacking in a Las Vegas shopping mall. Like that whole situation, man, that was, I feel like that was like the whole Instagram clout era, man. Everybody was trying to go viral on Instagram. And I remember the situation where King Yellow and Billionaire Black, uh, they catch 600 Breezy lacking, man, all bad self at the shopping mall. Um, bags in hand and everything, man. A lot of people, you know, took that, you know, took that as like a major blow to King Yellow uh, and Billionaire Black. But, you know, since we're speaking on King Yellow, man, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people took that as like a major blow to bro. Um, you know, he had just been trolling Cardi B and Offset and he had been getting into it and arguing about Offset and, you know, some other things that happened that we're going to bring up that he kind of attributed to that beef with Offset. And then when, you know, he bumps into some hometown beef, like lacking, smooth, like, like 600 Breeze, he looked like a, 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 a tourist. He had bags in his hand, he was bad self, called him lacking. And, you know, King Yellens and, and, and Billionaire Black, man, they kind of just had a, a, a strong talking to him, I think, like something like that. In February of that same year, King Yellow would be arrested just outside the Las Vegas Strip by officers who initially pulled him over for illegally parking in a handicapped spot. Upon search of the vehicle, police will find a loaded handgun in the trunk of the car. In the body cam footage, Yella could be heard telling officers that the gun is owned by his girlfriend and that he was unaware of it being in the trunk. After bonding out, Yella would initially blame Offset for putting the police on him. However, while on bond, in November of 2018, King Yella was again arrested, this time on multiple charges including domestic battery and attempted burglary. You know, the second arrest, I believe, was the arrest that uh, uh, basically, you know, put him down when it was like the attempted burglary and attempted, uh, it was like a lot of stuff, domestic shit. But in that first arrest where he was caught with the gun and he was overheard on body cam, you know, they searched through the trunk, they found a the gun. You see the Las Vegas strip in the background. In that video, I guess, you know, this would be the arrest that 1090 Jake, I believe, would go on to, you know, uh, quote unquote, expose King Yella. Um, when he was taken back to the station and he was questioned and, you know, he was questioned by some feds and they were asking about gang affiliations with other, 
rappers and other people in the industry. I guess it, it had been known that he was beefing with Offset and you know, he believed that Offset had some sort of connection to police because they was asking about him. And, you know, they were asking about Lil Durk and stuff like that. But we just gonna go ahead and say, man, hey, Street Certified News, man. You know, when, when the police ask you questions about people or they ask you pictures or they ask you what gang is this guy in, it's completely up to you, you know, what you do. But you know, if you cooperating and you're giving them answers, then that's cooperating. This will become another situation where King Yella would, you know, get some hate, you know, he would get another hit to his uh his image and you know although man king yellow you know like i said when i met him in person solid dude it seemed like you know he was solid i believe he was in big sandy um so i, I believe he was solid you know what i'm saying in, in, in the feds um but when on this internet stuff man you know he was taking a lot of hits to his image and one of the biggest hits recently he took was you know paperwork came out about one of those arrests back in uh, 2018, I believe. And you know, he was giving information on rappers and gang affiliations. In September, 2021, King Yellow would be released from federal prison after serving three years. In the years since his release, King Yellow has gone on to start a YouTube channel where he speaks on topics in the culture, collaborating with other former drill artists turned YouTubers like FYBJ Main and Billionaire Black. Now coining himself the most hated, King Yella over the years has appeared on some of hip hop's biggest platforms. And after being released from prison, Yella will also build himself a successful social media following with hundreds of thousands of subscribers. On the other hand, Yella has beef with some of the biggest names in hip hop, been caught telling too much to authorities, and as of recently, posted some very questionable things on the internet. No one said clout wasn't a hell of a drug. And we appreciate you for rocking with us, man. Like I said, man, shout out the boy Ken Yeller, man. You know what I'm saying? We wanted to just give y'all a nice little accurate, you know what I'm saying, timeline. Why? King Yella has been, you know, claiming he the most hated, man. I, I think he probably right right now. For the people who actually got motion, King Yella got a lot of hate, man. But he is still, you know what I'm saying, got motion. So, you know, we can't never hate on him too much. Either way, man, hey, we appreciate you for rocking with us, man. You know, sometimes it takes us time to, to hit you guys with these, these long-form documentaries. We appreciate the patience. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all tune in. We're going to be dropping a lot more podcasts, maybe once or two, one or two a week, depending on, you know, like what the news that's coming in and stuff like that. But we definitely want y'all to stay tuned in, you know what I'm saying, for all of our podcast episodes, as well as, man, our long form docs, man. It's your boy, Emmerich El Guapo, Street Certified News, man. The street's most reputable source for urban news, man. Hey, make sure you hit that like, comment, subscribe, man. Fuck with your boy. We love you. We out. Holes in your almighty suit. My man got shot in his face, busting cells on the roof. Shit wicked. I'm buying guns with my bread. Free dead and elevator. I know they sick of the feds. It's the wiggies. Ops got a plate on my head. I get busy. Y'all niggas better wait till I'm dead And when I die, put a staircase in my casket Send me to heaven with a Mac 10 Like, like